Yo guys, it's up? It's x -Rays, and welcome back to another video. So we got some pretty big news here that just came out. I was busy working on something, so I literally just got to my computer and I saw this. But it looks like we are going to be having some sort of premium game expansion for Modern Warfare 2 uh, next year, 2023, around the time that I'm assuming a new Call of Duty would come out. And it looks like the craziest part is that Sledgehammer Games is the one who's going to be working on this. So this is actually totally insane. We'll see how this works out. But if you guys want to see, here's the tweet from Charlie Intel. It says, Breaking Activision's new financial release seems to confirm there is a new full premium Call of Duty game in 2023. Quote, with plans for next year, including the most robust Call of Duty live operations to date, the next full premium release in the Blockbuster annual series. Uh, and it looks like that was actually there. Now, after that, it says, Rumors of a year two of Modern Warfare 2 was always a rumor, and now it seems like Activision is sticking to yearly premium releases. Too much money on the line to stop it. Now, that is true mostly because of the new information that just did just come out. Modern Warfare 2 on PC is doing amazing. It says that sales were double the recent Call of Duty, so last year's. Not only that, they announced that they just crossed the $1 billion mark, uh, which is actually kind of insane. So they did pass... $1 billion, I believe in 10 days, as you guys can see from the tweet right here, uh, which actually beat the old record, which was Black Ops 2, which did it in 15 days. So this is just insane. Obviously, if the sales numbers are crazy, Modern Warfare as a brand just always does such such numbers. It's crazy. Infinity Ward really does have the golden egg or the golden goose that lays the golden egg with the Modern Warfare series. And it looks like this time it's no different. It is just, uh, it's it's a juggernaut, man. It is an absolute juggernaut. Now, let's talk about the information about Sledgehammer Games. Now, they did, uh, Charlie until retweeted from Jason Schreier, who, it says, uh, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier says 2023 is more Modern Warfare 2, but it's called premium release because it won't be free. There is no year two, but a pay entry for the new campaign and MP content. Tweet from uh, Jason Schreier says, man, LOL, you keep falling for the same PR language. It's a continuation of Modern Warfare 2. It's called a full premium release because it's probably going to market and sell it as a $70 game with new single and multiplayer content but it's more Modern Warfare 2. So that's going to be interesting. So maybe it's just like a Modern Warfare 2 year two update or something that you got to pay 70 bucks for, which will have like a ton of new maps and it'll have maybe have like a ton of new like stuff like campaign. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they'll like hide it behind that and be like, hey, here's zombies or here's like extinction. You know, it'll be interesting to see what they do. But apparently this is being worked on, like I said, by Sledgehammer Games. So it says new Sledgehammer Games is developing the paid content uh, expansion for Modern Warfare 2 releasing in 2023 per Jason Schreier. The expansion will have a lot of content and most likely be $70. Treyarch's next game, Call of Duty game, is still coming in 2024. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over there. But, you know, I thought we were going to get just two years of content. But it is true that if they can make a ton of extra money from people, uh, you know, by releasing another $70 update or whatever, they're going to do it. And it's like, whatever, man, it's their business. They can do what they want. If people don't want it, they won't buy it. Uh, they'll, they'll just stick with the 12 seasons. If I'm assuming, I think we're going to get maybe a ton of seasons of content for Modern Warfare 2. And then there'll be like the expansion that you can buy for 70 bucks or whatever it's going to be. So we'll see what happens. But either way, they make so much money off the skins and the bundles and the blueprints and stuff that I don't really see how it could be a $70 expansion. Maybe it'll be like a $50 expansion, 40. We'll see what ends up happening, but if it is 70, we'll just have to see if it's worth it, you know? We'll we'll have to check it out next year when it does happen, but that is pretty big news coming out today from Jason Schreier and Charlie Intel. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a short one. I wanted to talk to you guys about this info. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh are you excited for a new Call of Duty well, this will be the first time a new expansion to the series. I'm totally kind of cool with it. If they do like a $30, like, you know, expansion where it has more campaign. I really enjoyed the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. I'm excited for them to do a continuation of that with, um, with Makarov or Ma and, you know, do like no Russia. Maybe they'll do no Russia again. So we'll see. But I do think that I don't think it's going to be a full $70 premium because if they do that, it has to be literally a new game. And would you just be like, Hey, here's another 20 maps and, you know, here's zombies and here's more campaign 70 bucks. I don't know. Would you do it? Let me know in the comment section below if you would if you would buy it.
if it was more modern warfare 2 or would you want something completely different so it'll it'll be interesting to see what this ends up being what the price point is and how much content they are willing to offer for that price point so again like i said personally i don't know how uh how i would feel i mean campaign if they did like an expansion for that i'd be excited for that but i don't know how i feel yet about more maybe like a massive dump of maps and you know maybe they'll do zombies or extraction or, or something to kind of make it give it that a little extra push over the edge for people to want to buy it but we'll see i feel like i have to see what it is going to be next year before i can make a decision of do i want to buy this content or not and you know if i enjoy modern warfare 2 by then if i'm still enjoying it maybe i will to freshen up the game especially if we're going to have another year after that or the next call of duty from treyarch and you know I mean, content's content. If you enjoy Call of Duty and you want more content, chances are you're going to want to buy that expansion. It's just the way that it goes. I think that's the mentality that they've wired in our brains. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and notifications on so we don't miss a single upload. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak, Aim Controller. I use them every single time that I play. Code OG X-Rays gets you a discount link down below to that or through my Amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter, at OGXRays, if you guys want to talk, interact, see what I'm up to, or if you just want to say hey. But anyways, you guys take care. I'm out. Peace.